Hey all Dan Bickett with MySurvivalSpot.com. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about hand drills uh, and their usefulness. I've got three different models of hand drills here and uh, when I was in high school we had a really old wood shop and it was equipped with all kinds of hand tools like this uh, that they weren't really even used a whole lot even when I was going back through uh, wood shop in, in junior high and high school back in the 80s and 90s. Um, Obviously, they had you know cordless drills back then, but the our old shop was still full of these kind of tools, and uh, I used them quite a bit because it you I didn't have to wait in line to get the cordless drills, and these seemed almost as quick uh, for what we were doing, and they're really useful uh, in a in a survival type or long term survival situation when power isn't going to be available, electricity isn't going to be available. Now, this is called the Yankee Handyman. It weighs five ounces. I wrote the weights down here. There's five, eight, and 12 ounces. <coughs> it's got, it takes 11 64th shank drill bits. And these drill bits are very particular. Let me get one out of the package for you real quick. Now this one is unique in the fact that it has a removable top of the handle and you can store eight drill bits inside of it. These drill bits are very unique in the fact that they have a notch on the bottom right there and a notch at the top which is right there so you can see that with my fingers the backstop there uh, it is a unique drill. the downside of this particular hand drill is that these bits I got very lucky and there's a local hardware store here in town uh, that had four sets of these drill bits and they sold them to me for the list price which was four dollars and fifty cents I got on eBay and started researching these hand drills again here recently after having used them in high school and they don't make these anymore uh, this was made by the Stanley company this is a Stanley number 46 Yankee 46 Y they don't make this drill anymore and they stopped making the bits back in uh, somewhere right around 2000, 1999 I think is when they stopped making these bits. So they don't even make these so bits anymore. I bought anymore. these drill bits for $4.50, but if you go on eBay, they're selling this package right now for $25. That is not <laughs> real real good. So I started looking at other options. Next option on the list. Now that is the lightest of the three. It weighs five ounces. The other ones are gonna be heavier than that. The next option on the list is an even older model than that. Uh, this is a PNC model number 1975. Now, I don't believe that's the year it was made. I haven't done enough research on this particular model to know that for sure. Um, I even have the original box uh, for this one. There's the box. Spiral ratchet screwdriver PNC model number 19. So this one here takes 11 64th drill bits. And this one takes quite a bit larger than that. I haven't measured it to be sure, but it looks like it's about 3 16 to maybe a quarter. That works out to whatever five and a half mils is. The disadvantage to this is I couldn't find any drill bits for it. They didn't have any in this style at that hardware store and they didn't even have any on eBay. The cool thing about this particular model is that it takes, I found a adapter online that will slide right inside of here Just like so, and it locks in there. Now, what that adapter allows me to do is any hex bit at all that I decide to use, I can use drill bits like this now that I can buy for $3 for each one of these packs. And I don't have to use up these expensive $25 a pack on eBay drill bits. <coughs> Disadvantage is I can't store anything in the handle and it weighs three ounces more uh, than this one here. And that five ounces is including eight drill bits. The five ounces for this is just including this and the adapter. Uh, the drill bits are gonna be extra weight other than that. Also, this one has a fully enclosed track system and this one is exposed and I do worry a little bit about dirt and mud getting in this, in this whole bearing system in there where that one's enclosed. Now the last hand drill I've got, I bought this one online, it's called an Easy Power, and this was uh, I think $22 with free shipping. 
This one's a little bit more advanced. It's got the adapter built in to the head itself and the bits actually will sink in deeper on this one than they will this adapter head. The adapter head's a little, eh, I don't know, uh, a little iffy that adapter is, but um, this one will actually lock down in the shortest configuration so you can carry it shorter where these don't do that. But without this adapter, this one here is shorter than that one anyway. And this one is as well. That's why this one weighs so much more because uh, there's a lot of extra features on it. So you move that lock off, it springs back out into position. It's reversible right here. You can go forward or backwards on this. And that's the same with either one of these as well. Uh, you just flip that little that little collar right there and you can go from forward to reverse. So they all drill about the same. Uh, you can see the actual movement is the longest on the shortest screwdriver. So I can compress this farther than I can either of the two bigger ones. So this is actually the fastest driller that I've got and it has that uh, removable top on it, but I couldn't find a collar adapter for this one. So what I'm thinking about doing is making a bit of a conglomeration between all of these systems and using a bit of a compromise on these and see if I can't take this shank right here, see if I can't take the shank and file it down, machine it down to be able to fit into this one. What that will allow me to do, <coughs> what that will allow me to do is use these bits when I'm at home so that I don't have to dull up these bits and the eight that I've got in the handle, which are worth about $50. And uh, I can use that for in the field type use, uh, whereas I can use these when I'm at home and just tinkering around the garage or whatever. I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how quickly these things can drill and uh, show you the differences between the three. So this is a 1 8 drill bit. It's fluted as opposed to a standard standard bit like that. And I'm just going to slide that in there and make sure it's engaged. And now it's locked in place. This is much more streamlined than the other two because there's no, there's no place for this bit to wobble because neither one of those adapters grab up to that collar. It just kind of sits in there and wobbles a little bit. I did try earlier to use a, a half inch auger bit and it was just simply too much. You couldn't, uh, you couldn't get the bit to spin with downward pressure. So don't think you're going to use anything up to about half an inch. Uh, 3 16 has been about, or excuse me, 1 8 has been about the limit. I was able to get a 3 16 but it was it was tough so i would limit your your drilling to about an eighth of an inch which is what this this one here is much smoother starts a lot faster and the stroke is much longer So it's really just a better drill overall. This is my favorite one of, of the three I've got. And that's as deep as I can get it. And I'm still not through the other side. Now how far I am in, I'll show you how far short I am of going through. I'm about an eighth of an inch shy to a sixteenth shy because I was, I was able to drill all the way up to that point right there. So I'm just shy of getting through the other side. So advantage and disadvantage of all three. I think my, my final outcome to all this, I'm gonna end up carrying this one and I'm gonna get rid of these two, end up selling them. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take this adapter that I got online and I'm going to machine this adapter down to the point where it will fit into this hand drill. <clears throat> this adapter was $7 and I think I had to pay $6 in shipping to get it here. 
I think it was from Lee Valley is where I bought it from. So this is a good little adapter. I, I think it has its place for, the, for this type of uh, standard drill bit. I just wish that I could find one to fit this smaller shank size, this 1164 uh, shank size. So those are the hand drills. Um, three different models, three different uh, pros and cons of each. Uh, this one has the most advantages, but it also has the most disadvantages, both with the cost of drill bits uh, and the length of the drill bits. But it still has, it still drills the best out of the three of them. I have seen this particular model on eBay for ten dollars. Uh, I bought this one at the local hardware store when I bought those other bits over there. Uh, but I have seen these on eBay for 10 bucks. You'll just have to find some bits um, to use in them or get this adapter here and machine it down like I'm going to have to do. Now, I'm not recommending that you carry this in your bug out bag. I'm not recommending that you make this part of your everyday carry. But this can be more of a what I call a pioneer kit, which is what the military calls it. It's your axes, your shovels, your uh, your pickaxes, your adzes, uh, your your Maddox, your Pulaski tools, all of those things that you don't think you're ever going to need on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're going somewhere to build a camp, uh, these are the type of tools that you may want to bring with you. Or if you're trying to prepare yourself for a long-term survival scenario, these hand drills are are really fantastic for what they are. You're also going to want to look into bits and braces and auger bits and, and uh, maybe even scotch eye augers and things like that uh, to further complement your tool selection. Uh, this here is something I will end up carrying uh, in my what I call my monster bag which just sits in my truck. Mm -hmm.